YouTube M Cordia, we have Ghost Trick Speedroids. It got, oh, what was it? Eighth place? Yep. All right, let's dig into this. All right, I play Triple Mary. I use Mary for if I take any type of damage, I did chirp and special out any ghost trick. Doesn't even matter what it is, just special okay. it out. I play Triple Jingxi. Jingxi basically just searches out, adds my hand, any ghost trick monster. It adds up to the level. Uh, well, adds up to the number of ghost trick monsters I control. Level has to equal or be less than that. Uh, Go again. I play Triple Doll. Doll, she allows me to flip everything on the field. Great against Monarchs, Cosmos, and Burning Abyss, especially Burning Abyss. I play two Spectre. Spectre just allows me to special out if they destroy a monster, doesn't matter which one. Two Lanterns, just allows me to negate the attacks. And one Skeleton. And I use Skeleton, basically flood out my field, and at the end, banish five cards, face down. Uh, Spearoid Engine is pretty obvious. I use basically them to go into Alucard, um, a few other rank threes. Uh, two Maxis because Maxi. Mansion. Mansion allows me to attack directly, which of course I'll need no matter what. And if I get attacked directly, it's just half damage. Raigeki because Raigeki. One twisters for back row decks slash pendulums. And my other major card, level limit area B. Against Cosmos, any deck that goes over four in general. Just lets me survive as long as I can. Two go rounds. Probably one of my favorite cards. Just lets me flip shit. One scare. Same thing basically. Two quaking because I need their stuff all flipped down while mine are flipped up. One bottomless, two breakthrough, and one solemn. One of each solemns. And the only reason I play one strike is because I have issues trying to keep my life points up, especially in mirror ma uh, not mirror matches like cosmos and monarchs. Um, and two needle ceilings because needle ceiling is life. That's it for the main deck. For the extra deck, I play one at zero. Four against Cosmo matchup, just steal their cards and attack them with it. One root for negating attacks. Triple Dulhan, mainly to just go into another, uh, into Mischief. Originally I wasn't going to play him, but I had to have another card. Um, never went into him anyways. I'd probably just substitute that with a Succubus. One Sky Calvler because negating attack and all that can't be destroyed. One Totem Bird, one Breakthrough, uh, Break Sword. Totem Bird's mainly for matchups like Pendulums or Monarchs. And Break Sword because I need to just destroy as much as I can. Uh, Triple Owl card, pop back row, go into mischief, and nope, I must, must put the other one in there. Yep. And then triple mischief, she allows me to search out all my spells and traps, I detach stuff like Dulhan or Owl card, add back scare or whatever other ghost trick card I want. Got you. For the side deck, two Caius, didn't really need him at all. I, Probably gonna get rid of him. Two flying C for exit based decks like Burning Abyss, Pendulums. System down. I use them against Cliff Wards. Stuff basically like that, Cosmos. Double Masquerade Strike. I'm wanting to go to triple, but I just can't get another one yet. Triple anti spell fragrances for Pendulums, Monarch, stuff like that. And what helped me out with my last tool, 
one crush card virus for a deck that goes into high attack monsters. I assume you're under the assumption that you could go into Totem Bird, but I don't think you can. Uh, I could go into it with uh, Terra Top and Tech Top Lord. Okay, okay, okay. I, I was worried because I saw there was two wins to make. Yep. So, all right, well, fair enough. All right, man. Hope you had a good one. Uh, guys, thanks for watching, and I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Van Cole 40 for Card Fight Vanguard, M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu Gi Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.